Hi, Lucy here. Um, today what we're going to do is replace an Intermatic time clock. Now, one of the things, uh, or there's a few things you need to know about uh, the Intermatics before you change it. On this particular one, and um, we'll get a close-up later, but um, if you notice that, oh, thank you, if you notice that the um, time clock is not turning, the wheel's not turning, then that's the time pretty much to uh, put in another one. But let's say uh, you have it set at 10 o'clock in the morning and, um, and then it passes the on little tripper, but it doesn't turn on, but you can turn it on manually like this, okay? It may just be the tripper because after a long time they do wear out. So I would, before you replace that, and if the wheel's still turning, um, I would just replace the tripper. If you come out, it's like 10 o'clock, uh, and it says, you know, still says 10 o'clock, and um, even though you can put it on manually, if the wheel's not turning, then it's time to replace it, and that's what we're going to do now. Um, now, the thing about uh, the Intermatics is you, they have a 110 and a 220. Um, most pumps nowadays um, are pre-manufactured or pre-set for 220. And, and 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 they go with a 220 time clock. Now, how you can tell if it's a 220 or 110 is these two wires uh, coming in. Okay, um, this is line and this is line, and this is load and this is load. So um, on, so it's 110 each. All right. So and and how you can tell the difference? Because I used to get really confused, like which is line and which is load. Just think of line being like the power line. Okay, you know, like a telephone line, the power line. And so the wires that are gonna be connected to the line, um, lines are gonna be coming from the uh, breaker. It'll be a double pole, so two wires will be coming out of the breaker. And this is if it's a 220. And then the load is just think of like, you know, uh, a heavy load. <laughs> so the, the loads will be coming, are going to the pump. Um, and I'll show you in a minute. And um, the other thing, uh, what I do is before I replace these, I unscrew these like, you know, uh, before I, I put it up there because they, they have them screwed in so tight. And if you put it up there and now you're trying to deal with unscrewing these. So these are already uh, unscrewed. And so all we're gonna do is, um, Take the old time clock out and then you just put the wires and so just remember it's always uh, line load line load okay and you'll know by the, the white wires coming underneath and just be sure that if you have a 110 time clock and it, it's an old motor and old time clock and you're putting in a, a new uh, motor it's almost uh, like I said almost always um, set to 220 but there will be instructions on how to put it down to 110 if you have a 110 time clock and I hope I'm not confusing you guys um, uh, you have to change a wire in the back of the motor um, or get a 220 time clock which probably means you'll have to get a, a, a break another breaker <laughs> so up to you but I just want to give you that information um, anyway I'm going to uh, change the angle of this video camera and hopefully um, be able to show you how to replace it. And another thing, um, this one is set in this, this box here. Um, a lot of time clocks, the mechanism, this is just the mechanism, um, Intermatic has its own little box. Um, this one isn't that. So we're going to be unscrewing these and always remember to shut your breaker off first and um, I shut the GFI, just all the power as much as you can. And then we'll get in here and I'll show you where the wires go. And um, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. And um, just to let you guys know, okay, I'm not an electrician. And most of you that are watching this probably aren't electricians because you wouldn't be watching this. You wouldn't have to. <laughs> so um, I'm going to explain in a way that uh, helped me to understand. And is I'm licensed to do um, uh, repair work in the pool business. And so, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not claiming to be an electrician at all because they're, you know, they, they have so much knowledge more than I do. But this is simple enough that I, I feel you can do it and uh, we'll save you some money. 
and um, help you understand how these work, okay? Um, I'll be right back in a second. Thanks. Okay, hopefully you can see this. And um, All right, so now to be sure that the breaker is off, I'm just gonna shut that, okay? So now um, I'm gonna just loosen these up. Yes, I should be using a Phillips, but it doesn't matter. You can use a Phillips or a flat on these. Now, if you get confused about what is a line and what is a load, um, this cover comes with, uh, with it. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> anyway, it says, um, I'm trying to, it says line load, line load. So when it's on here, you know what, which one it is. And I'll show you for sure how you can tell. All right, so we're gonna take these. Now, some of these intermatics are in their own little box and all they do is snap out. So they're actually really convenient. So we're gonna do this. Keep the screws out of the sun. Okay, these wires are loose. Now, notice how this one came out. I try to just keep them right where they're supposed to uh, remain. Uh -huh. But if by any chance they turn on you, I'll show you exactly how you know wh which way the wires go. Sorry about my arm being in the way. Okay. Okay, so out with the old, in with the new. Now, here's the thing. And this is really important. These two wires that say lo that say load, okay? Because it's going to go like this. These two wires, and I hope you can see them, are coming from the motor. These two black wires, these other ones, are coming from the breaker, and that's how you know. So those are going to be on the line and, and the other ones are going to be on the load and it's, it might be confusing because they're all the same color, but this should uh, not make it confusing anymore. All right, so let's put this in. Ouch, it's hot. Okay, while I'm messing with this, I'm just gonna like, you know, uh, put these in and then I'll turn this back on when I start putting these in, okay? Okay, I'm back. Um, they just, I, I didn't have a magnetic screwdriver, it really helps. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is just take the, um, the wires and you put them up like that. Make sure they're tightened nice and strong. And you don't you always want to be careful not to put the plastic coating underneath because um, then it's not going to be a tight fit for the metal. OK, so you always want to be sure about that. Just have a little poking out. Okay, and then what you want to do, since the breaker's off, I can move this, take this screw off, put the safety cover on, yeah, this goes like this, 
Oops. So that later, if you if you have to do a repair, you just slide it that way. But it's good to have these covers on. Where are you? There you are. Okay, then. You want to set uh, the time. So right now it is, my God, um, almost noon. So what you do is you pull it out, okay, and then you set your time. Now here's a really important thing too. When you set it, you have to make sure that it, it clicks all the way back. Because if you go like this, wait, wait, <laughs> like that, okay, it's not going to turn. It's not going to be engaged. So you have to make sure that it clicks back like that. So it's, it's uh, almost 12. And they're making it so that the green is the on right now. So we're going to put it on at 8 in the morning. Now, what I like to do personally um, is, and if this was my client, I probably would, uh, go from like 7 in the morning to 11 and then, in the, and then 7 to 11 in the evening. Um, we'll let them decide what they want to do. Right now, we're going to put on 8 to 4. I'm trying to do this so that at a strange angle. Okay. If you want to get a pair of pliers, it's up to you. Okay, so now you just turn the breaker on. Okay. Okay. So uh, then we're going to put the cover back on. Get in there. Oh, never mind. I have this in the way. Okay, so um, I hope you learned something, and um, that was about it. It's a pretty easy repair, and um, and anyway, be careful out there. Be sure you, you shut your breakers off before you do anything, and come back and visit me on my website, and, um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.